particular demand, we actually had somebody request this because I mentioned it. This is a, a variation of the triangle that I learned from Ty Pogram. And uh, those of you who haven't met him yet, he's like six foot four or six foot five and 300 plus pounds. He's a big, angry German guy. Um, so when he gets into a, a triangle, and after years and years and years of Muay Thai and Muda Libra, he doesn't move as well. He still moves pretty dang good, but he's a big guy. So he uses this way because it works really well for a big guy and it's easy to get into. Uh, so whenever somebody complains, oh, I'm too big, my thighs are too big, my hips aren't bending enough, I, I show them this variation. So the basic idea here is I want to first get my feet up in a triangle position and then just cross them so that I can control and then I follow up from there. So we're gonna go with just a basic application, sleeves, okay? Or wrists if you don't have sleeves, okay? So one goes down, push and pull, basically. One down, one up, okay? Boom, step over the shoulder, and then cross your feet, okay? Now you'll notice this has nothing to do with flexibility at this point, right? It's basically just like I'm crossing my ankles. So if you can lift your knee up to about waist high and cross your ankles, you can do this move, okay? Now, the second thing you need to remember is if this leg that's over the shoulder isn't straight, okay? If you keep it straight, you're never gonna get the choke. I wanna make it as angled as I can, okay? So this one's more of the straight one. This one, get it as angled as you can. It doesn't have to be all the way up here like normal though, okay? So it's gonna be right here. And you'll see I've got a good diagonal angle there, and then my ankles are crossed, okay? Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I, Grab a hold of the arm. We're not gonna worry about pushing it over this way or pulling it or whatever. Just grab a hold of it so he doesn't move it. And I've got something to hold on to. And I'm gonna squeeze my knees together so that I lock in the, the shoulder, okay? That starts a bit of a choke, but it's not gonna end it, okay? So I don't wanna start out way out here and then try and apply this because it's gonna be a lot more difficult, okay? So arm, grab the arm, squeeze the knees together, okay? As soon as I get that and I see it's locked in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my, my knee up and I'm going to step on his shoulder. And you can see, if you're on this side, I can't see his shoulder, okay? So I don't want to see this because I can see his shoulder and this is not going to work, okay? So step up like I'm going to knee myself in the face and then step on his shoulder so that my knees are next to his ears and I can't see his shoulder. And then I just squeeze. So again, if my foot's over here and I do the same thing, I'm not gonna get the tap. I'm squeezing pretty hard at this point. As soon as I move it over there and I step on top and notice how my feet get kind of pulled down that way, okay? That's really what's gonna finish it. The stepping on the shoulder part blocks his shoulder and shoves it into his other carotid, okay? He's already feeling it. At that point, I just have to pull my feet down that way. Boom, and squeeze my knees together, okay? So one more time through. Okay, push, boom, okay. Angled foot, feet are crossed, grab a hold of the arm, step on the shoulder, okay. Pull my feet down and squeeze. Big man's trying, okay. Everybody in this room can do that. Uh, there's a couple of key points here that we're gonna go over. Okay, so again, as soon as I get a hold of this, Steve put it pretty well. He said, first you park them and then you whack them, okay. So, which is a really great way of, of expressing it here. I want to get a hold of him and park him there. Okay, that's what crossing my feet does because it brings him down and it gets my legs tight on him. There's no space here, okay? That's very important for setting up a triangle and it doesn't matter if I'm doing it this way, okay, or this way. Either way, there should be no space there between my legs and his body. So step one, park him there, okay? Step two, when I've got a hold of this, I'm gonna whack him. And in this case, I'm stepping on the shoulder. So I really want to, okay? That gets up and down, and then that gives me a little bit of momentum to start pulling these feet down at an angle to the side, and that's what squishes everything in, okay? So again, park, and then whack. Park, okay? Whack. Okay? One more. Parking, okay? And now we might even be fighting here a little bit, me trying to get back into a position where I feel like I can get it. But as soon as I'm ready, it's like, okay, whack it, hmm. right? Now, for the bigger guys, you're probably never gonna get your, your foot up there, okay? Especially not when you're, you're starting this way. Don't worry about it, okay? This, for the littler guys, or for the bendy guys, this is a situational move, 
for the bigger guys, it's probably how you'll set it up from the get-go until you get a little bit bendier with your knees. If you never do, don't worry about it. It'll still work. And okay. you would also, not only for the big heavy weights, but also people who have short legs. Yeah. This is yeah. perfect for people who are not traditionally triangle or sankaku people exactly. have short legs. And this right. could be, you know, instead of trying to get the foot all the way under the knee, you really have them more toward the ankles as you were doing. So yeah. this is a good way to do it for short yeah. people as well. And likewise, uh, you could be a pretty long and lanky guy like Eric, uh, but you're eventually going to roll with a guy that's like, you know, six and a half feet tall. They're pretty long guys too. So when they get that much bigger than you, doing things like triangles on them become a whole different ball game because you're not used to the proportions. That's where a move like this comes in. If his shoulders are so wide and, every, and his back is, or torso is so long that you're having trouble actually getting your legs like this when you never do, that's when you can apply this one. So it might be situational for you, but that doesn't mean it, does, it isn't a good move, all right? All right.